in, uh, for better or for worse, <laughs> I'd say most of my self-esteem was based on <laughs> playing well in the orchestra. You know, it's something hard to do and you have to sacrifice a large part of your life uh, to do it. Um, you have to remain humble and you have to work five times as hard as everyone else, especially if you're a minority. Um, you have to work five times as hard and always be three steps ahead of everyone else. And our music teacher and mom were certainly in agreement of the level of, of perfection that had to be presented in every performance, which of course gave, I don't know about you Jess, but me a, an idea of what that takes. And it's really difficult to present myself in anything that I do um, otherwise. Yeah, the, the hardships are important, and they're still happening. They're constantly happening. I mean, most people will only see or notice um, the good things. I've been unsuccessful in most of my auditions. And it's tough. My first year out of school was spent auditioning, and that was a difficult time because I, I knew that I could do it, and I, could, I knew I could do this well. Um, I just needed to be at the right place at the right time. I almost wanted to give up a few times because I kind of used to look at people and I'm like, I will never be that well, I will never be that good. But then it's sometimes you gotta think about it as, it's not being better than somebody else, it's kind of doing the best that you can do and making it your own. You know, when you're percussionist, it, you can show up for work in a bad move and you know, you're hitting stuff, so that. <laughs> It can become a bit of a release, you know, and uh... <laughs>